Hi everyone, this is JL with J. Elegante Styles. This is my first YouTube video for this channel and I'm really excited. I want to give a big, big hug to all my DIYers out there that have inspired me along the way and the ones who encouraged me to get this going. So for today, I have changed the palette in my room to light silver, gray, um, white, and lavender primarily. And I've been searching for a full body length mirror in white that every time I find one, it's either really cheap looking or ridiculously priced and just too plain for my taste. So what I've done in this tutorial is pretty easy. I know there's a lot of mirror tutorials out there. I've added my touch of elegance to it. I hope you like it. Show your newbie some love and like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about how I did this or you have any tips or suggestions, go ahead and comment. I accept it all. <laughs> all right. See you guys. I'm going to show you how I got this done. Let's get to it. All right. So here are the things that you'll need. Anything that says DT stands for Dollar Tree. I did also get the foam boards there. And I'll put the link of where I got the embellishments at in the description below. Here, I'm just removing the corner covers and tightening the mirror backing. I had already hot glued the foam boards together. So right now I'm just adding some duct tape horizontally and a couple of vertical strips, more for structural support. And you could of course add some more if you want. Here I'm using painter's tape to cover the inner corners of each mirror so of course I don't get paint on them. Now I used some regular house paint that I had left over from something else and I definitely recommend if you're going to try this project just spray paint all of the frames. It'll be much quicker. This ended up taking me a lot longer than I anticipated just because I had to brush the paint on each of the frames and wait in between each coat. So um, I would definitely go the spray paint route. Just remember, if you're gonna do it that way, you'll wanna remove the mirrors. I forgot to record myself painting them, but this is what they looked like when I finished. All right, so after I had removed all the painter's tape from each of the mirrors, it was time to glue them to the foam boards. So I started that off with E6000 along the frame and in certain sections in the middle of the back. And I followed that up with some hot glue. I laid them next to each other and of course I glued them in between the frames for added security. And I just repeated the process until I was done with this step. And this is how they looked when they were all glued down. Now I'm sure you guys will notice there's a bit of a gap or some division between the mirror and the frame itself. It's not really a snug fit. I mean, they are from the Dollar Tree, so you can't expect perfection. But if you want to remedy that, of course, you could just glue the mirror to the back of the frame. I just didn't bother with that because I was going to add embellishments and I knew it was going to cover it anyway. So I'm just prepping for that here. I divided them into two groups, one for the width of the mirror, another for the length. And since I have eight mirrors here, I just had 16 in each group. Yes, this is my favorite part because this is when it started getting fun. Um, adding those elegant elements for the finishing touches. I just really enjoyed this a lot more than the other portion of it. But I used mainly the hot glue. If you notice, I will use some Gorilla Glue on the first row, but I felt like I really didn't need it going forward. so. I just stuck with the hot glue. Now I did have to cut down the beads, um, some of the rows uh, by a bead or two just to make it fit properly, but you can't notice it's still a seamless row. So it turned out great. 
So this is what she looked like when I finished. I went ahead and framed the whole mirror using a long strip of the floral mesh embellishment. And then I decided to add some clear gems that I also had from the Dollar Tree into the middle of each of the rows where four of the frames met. And then I glued a little silver embellishment to the top of the gems. It looks great and it brought it together so nicely. She opens up my room and matches my decor beautifully. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are or if you tried the project yourself. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, love and light.